rise in crime, poverty, issues in my own country. But today we're talking about it. Yes, we're gonna talk about it. Ain't nobody wants to open their mouth, but we don't speak out at the youth zone. Searching for solutions for the issues in our nation. That's the only way we know that we can make it. It's going down at the youth zone. We may be young, but we're the next generation, and we're here to save our nation. Hey everyone and welcome to the Youth Zone. Well, it's perhaps one of the most talked about topics among young people, relationships. Who's in them? Who isn't? Every young person has a view on the issue, but depending on whether you're male or female, your opinion represents something absolutely different. Well, as a female, what we want in a relationship differs from what guys want. For us, most of the times it's about companionship and friendship, but it seems as though the expectations are different on the both sides. So what do you think, Devante? Well, Holly, while that might be true for some guys, it's not the same for everyone. In fact, I honestly feel as though some people get into relationships for all the wrong reasons. So when they don't get their expectations met, mm. then they blame the other partner and walk away. Very true. On today's show, we have the scoop on relationships. The males versus the females. It's going to get quite hot in here. Our discussion begins when we come right back. I think if you really like someone, if I really like a guy, I'm going to make the first move. I don't care what people think about it. So it's okay then in, in, in this day and age for females to make the first move? Yes, it's 2016. Oh, Things are okay. a lot different. All the effort we put into trying to get you this is about time y'all say, hey, what's up? I like you too. So that's a victory. That's a victory. No, no, no. Y'all have no respect for ladies. So let me women, and I want to say girls, they come and they just feel up on you. Oh you my know, they goodness! Just like, they approach what? you. Wait, no, what are Man, you am talking I right? about? What's club, what's club am I right? At the okay. youth zone, we may be young, but we're the next generation. And we're here to save our nation. Oh, oh. At the youth zone. You are now in the youth zone. So we're talking about relationships. The school, male versus females. How do you feel about this issue? Well, to find out what you have to say, our social media correspondent Shanae Smith has this week's responses. Shanae. Thanks guys, we're always excited to hear from you on our topic of the week and boy didn't we get some interesting responses. Let's take a look. Okay, my name is Diego. Um, I think a guy should make the first move. Um, no, not necessarily. not necessarily. He must pay for the stuff on the gift. And I think both of them should get, get the gifts on the Valentine's Day. Is it fair that it, it's, it's expected for a guy to leave his friends and focus on his relationship when a female isn't expected to do the same? Okay, I think that's absolutely ridiculous that a male is expected to leave his friends alone to quote unquote focus on a relationship because I mean some women are put in the situation where they sh are asked to leave their friends alone but I look at it this way. My friends have been here longer than you've been here, first and foremost. Secondly, am I not a perfectly functioning adult? Am I incapable of balancing my life? Why is it, do I, why is it that I need to eliminate my friends who love and care about me for someone else who loves and care about me? It doesn't make any sense. I feel like anybody who makes you leave your friends alone unless your friends really aren't good for you and it's very obvious obvious then i think that anybody who's going to make you stop hanging out with your friends needs to reevaluate themselves because they're very insecure in the relationship and they don't trust you and those are very important factors of a relationship security and trust without those you don't have a relationship so at the end of the day if you i think it's i think it's crazy 
So, we want to hear from you. Stay tuned to our social media sites on Twitter at YouthZone242, Instagram at the YouthZone242, and Snapchat the YouthZone. And don't forget our Facebook page, the YouthZone. View our question of the week and send us a 20 second video of your opinion. That's our social media report. Back to you guys. Well, it's time to turn up the heat. There's still the life of the party and the muse with all the views. We're talking about our TYZ panel. They're split on both sides, males on one side, females on the other side. Let's start with the females. So what say you about this whole idea about relationships? What's your views on this whole thing? Okay, when it comes to issues in relationships, and I guess every aspect, it all really, it's based on the person. So some people making the first move, let's say, um, in some cases, some like the male can be introverted, so the female can make the first move. And in other cases, the female can be introverted, so the male can make the first move. So it's okay then in, in, in this day and age for females to make the first move? Yes, yes. it's 2016. Yes. Things okay. are a lot okay. different. Well, well, okay, fine. Because you, you know, yes. people always say when a, when a woman approaches a guy, she's fast she's oh, yeah. or she's forward. But I guess that's out of the window now. <laughs> Wait, well. Just now, you guys admit it. That you would actually make the first move. Uh, I'm, so, I'm talking about that as well. Time. Like, I mean, all the effort we put into trying to get y'all is about time y'all say, hey, what's up? I like you too. So that's a victory. That's a victory. I call it a victory. One, one victory for us. Score one for the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Here's, here's what I think. Uh huh. I think girls should make the first move. Why? Because how y'all guys set up, if a girl come up to you and say that they like you, y'all going to take that to advantage. Y'all will be like, well, if you like me, you could do a little something, something for me like this, right? If you like me, y'all could do a little something for something like this. Here's what I think. Guys think with two heads. True. I think with two heads. <laughs> so, a girl, so I think a girl should keep her mouth close and wait so she could pick choose and refuse okay but i also think it's like based on society the way how people stereotype things they think like oh the guy should come to the girl i think if you really like someone if i really like a guy i'm gonna make the first move i don't care what people think about it okay, okay. it's all based on stereotypes okay Watson, well it depends on how the girls approach us but because in some you you wait, wait, wait. <laughs> because <in> sometimes <laughs> Women, and I want to say girls, they come and they just feel up on you. Oh you my know, they goodness! Just like, they approach what? you. Wait, no, what are Man, you am talking I right? about? What's club am I right? <laughs> okay. They, What's club they walk up in? on you and they approach you. They just be feeling up on you. <laughs> then they want to touch your butt. Oh then they want to touch. What they want, they what want dare talk do you live in? They want to feel up on you. Then you be like. Why you look at me like Miko, so? Miko, Miko, Miko. Touch him is a problem. Hold on, Miko, Miko, let, yeah, let's be real wrong. about the situation. Like, Miko, let's, let's, let's be real about the situation now. Girls come and feel up on y'all. Y'all? Yes. Never see it. I don't know where do you be, but the, but the guys now in 2016, 2015, y'all is approach totally different. Y'all is come about, hey, sick, 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 hey, sweetness, hey, little thing, come here, let me feel that up. No, no, no. Y'all have no respect for ladies. So let me ask you, though. Okay, oh, hold on, let me ask you. Then who, then a lot of times, I agree, the guys come off wrong. But is it that the ladies are presenting themselves in a way to be addressed in that you, manner? You do have some ladies, you do have some ladies that accept it. And then you have some ladies that don't accept it and they still push their way onto them. That is, that is unfair. I see a lot of ladies, young girls on, 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 on walking and what they're wearing is really questionable. To me, you, you asking for somebody to say... A, a little thing. And just Mr. Exactly. Just my, thing that is, my thing is, you, 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 you set out the signals to address me like that. Are you trying to say that attire then insinuates consent for people to no, do I these types of things? No, I think attire obviously dictates the kind of person you want to approach you. Exactly. Yes. And that's why you get the seek, seek, oi, oi. And you still Mr. accept Mr. the seek, seek, oi, oi. You, you said ladies. Clearly those females aren't ladies if they dress to True. be approached. True. Yeah. I agree. I, I totally agree with you on that point. What about what about what about when the relationship is? I guess you begin talking. Um, 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 uh, are, do you believe expectations are different in relationships? Do you believe the guy wants something is, is in a relationship for something different, and the girls in, the, in a relationship for something different? Do you find that there is a barrier there, Shanae? Well, I think if you put out your boundaries from the beginning, then they know what to expect. They shouldn't come with these preconceived notions that they are entitled to something. I'm going to let you know from the very beginning that this is what you're going to expect of me. This is what I expect you to bring towards me, and that's what I want. Okay. Yes. My thing is, but when the guy have that same expectation as well, is like you try to diminish and limit that because your needs comes before the guy's needs. And speaking and coming from personal experience, from my ex-girlfriend, we were together actually for six months. Six months. 
six months. Six months. And I had to take the initiative to say, you know what? I like you. And she finally said, oh my God, I like you too. But I'm like, why you had to wait for me to say it? Oh, that's just how I was grew. I grew up. Like the guy's supposed to approach me twice. You know what my response was? We do not live in ADs anymore. No. We so, are in the 21st century going into the 22nd so century. we're all both talking about these expectations. What are the expectations? What do girls expect out of a relationship? What do guys expect out of a relationship? We're going to address that issue when we come right back. Stay closer to YouTube. <laughs> My number one expectation is someone to be committed and loyal to me. That's my number one expectation. If we can communicate what we both need and expect from the relationship, then we can come to a common ground. But if we cannot communicate what we both expect, then obviously we would always bump heads and have a disagreement. Like, oh, because I'm nice to you, oh, I smiled like this, you want me to give you a little something later. No, you need to understand what I want from you and what I'm willing to give you. If she wasn't doing anything bad before we get together, ain't no reason for her to start be being bad after we get together. Searching for solutions for the issues in our nation. That's the only way we know that we can make it. It's going down. At the youth zone. We may be over with the next generation. Let us save our nation. Oh, oh. At the youth zone. You are now in the youth zone. Welcome back guys and if you're just joining us we're talking about relationships and the expectations and issues that come with them from a male and female perspective which often differs. So let's continue before the break we were talking about uh, uh, what are the expectations. Let's hear from the ladies. What are your expectations ladies when you want to when you get into a relationship with a guy? What are your expectations? Okay my number one expectation is someone to be committed and loyal to me. That's my number one expectation. All right, let's hear from somebody else. What do you expect? I also expect for a guy to be honest, someone that's intellectual so we can hold a conversation. Mm -hmm. I want you to... Um. No, go ahead. I mean, <laughs> she was still... She was, if you, if, go ahead. Yamil? Okay. I expect you to respect me and my boundaries. I don't expect you to have all these big expectations of me, you know? Like, oh, because I'm nice to you, oh, I smiled like this, you want me to give you a little something later. No, you need to understand what I want from you and what I'm willing to give you. Do you feel that's important for you to say that up front, what your, what your parameters are and your barriers are, what you're willing to do and willing not to do? Is that important to set? Definitely. You have to set your boundaries from the beginning because guys like to feel so entitled to us and our bodies and not even know anything about us. Interesting. My All right, is, let's hear from guys yeah, before you what? go there. What are you expecting in a relationship? All right, this is what I what well, this is what I expect: communication and compromisation. You you should be able to compromise certain things. We use a compromise. Wait, wait. So who should be doing the between the compromising the males or the females? Who should be doing the most compromising in the relationship? Both. Both. But I I would say I, I would say females yes, females because your expectation of the relationship is like so high. Oh, if we be together for a certain amount of times, you gotta put a ring on my finger. I, my thing is I don't need to go through so many steps just to get to your heart when. All I'm doing right now should be good enough. So you don't feel like, oftentimes the ladies feel like the guy should kind of come towards them and do all the nice things for them. So you and yeah, kind of compromise around their schedule a bit more. You don't think so? Schedule? So we don't have schedules too? That we have to compromise to compromise your schedule as well? Yeah, I mean, you, that, you, that, you, that, that's the mindset of most ladies. Oh, so wow. what do you feel towards that? Well, my thing is, right, if we can communicate what we both need and expect from the relationship, then we can come to a common ground. But if we cannot communicate what we both expect, then obviously we would always bump heads and have a disagreement. Are guys looking for companionship in a relationship? Yes. Me personally, I do. And it's not all about Ladies, let's hear some of you guys because y'all sitting up here quiet. Y'all all, all yeah. by, supporting, but y'all dead quiet. Well, y'all dead quiet. Me personally, I'm actually I, I look for all that was mentioned from um, the various panelists. However, for those guys who don't actually seek for that, they're actually seeking for um, that thing. 
you know, between your legs. <laughs> Sex. Sex. Oh, we can say the yeah. word <laughs> You know, so that's what they're looking for. And um, the minute they get that, they feel as though uh, they, they own you now. And they, w they can get it anytime they want. And so that's where uh, uh, you misuse relationships. You misuse the female. And that's not what relationships were designed for. Let's hear, let's hear you, D'Angelo. Uh, the what about. I expect from a relationship, my expectations is exactly what she does before we got in a relationship. If she, well, go ahead. Go ahead. You, if she wasn't doing anything bad before we get together, ain't no reason for her to start be, being bad after we get together. Whoa. So if you wasn't hold ratchet on, before on. we meet, ain't no reason for you to be ratchet when we get together. What? Hold, hold on. <laughs> Can you? I totally agree with you, Oliver. Um, the things that you did to get me, maintain the things to keep me, eh? Thanks. That's, 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 that's the way I feel. That's what you can do. I think the X. My expectations um, is if we are talking about something, right, or we are arguing, we should keep that between me and you. you don't true. tell that to all your friends and right. gossip and <laughs> salty <laughs> single <laughs> friends. Keep that between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you heard it. You heard it right there. You heard it right there. You know, if there's an issue between you and the individual, why are you talking to your girlfriends about it? But Canton, your point was so invalid because males talk too. So now what? Talk to who? Your oh, friends. Your so-called friends. No, excuse me. This is what I was saying. If me and you have a, a specific, we have a little conversation, why in the world your boys coming to me saying, why you don't, what side, hey, you doing stuff like that? The same no, no, reason no, no, your no, friends no. coming to us. You're talking about how, I talk with my, uh, how we talk with our girls or whatever. That's why in the world you tell your boys everything we do? And then how true, you, how true, you true. Rocking points. Rocking points. Rock and point. boys, <laughs> and then your boy, their boys got other boys. So I'm coming from with that yeah go, go ahead Jamil. go ahead go ahead uh, all right um <laughs> i want to i want to go to what you all said about being bad and ratchet what do you mean by bad because i feel like you guys will use anything a female does to label her as bad if i flirt with a guy i bad if i go out with more no. than two guys no. i bad yes. what do you no. mean no. bad no. excuse me so, uh -huh. exactly my Sorry, thing. Excuse first of me, all if, if you're in a <clears throat> if we're in a relationship right why would i consider you to be bad unless whatever whatever pass you bring into the relationship that i can judge you based off of that uh oh but hold on i just if want to say i value you as a person i don't care about what happened to you inside the past and that's what i try to explain to my ex whatever that guy did to you in the past please do not bring it into this existing relationship okay but my thing is my thing is, my thing is I, think, I think uh we said well to me i think females set rules on relationships and then we we have no other choice but to go with them. So I think it's the females, I like, because you guys mentioned flirting. So it was females mentioned that when you flirt with, a, uh, with another Listen. Person, that's called cheating. So listen. Well, I guess we can say the same. You flirt listen, with listen, guy. Linda. Listen, Linda. You, we said rules and y'all still break the rules. Y'all is one, a man girl. But the point is, but the point is, but the point is, you guys, all right. Out of stuff. We, why y'all just can't accept one girl? Why y'all can't be loyal to that one girl? Don't we? Don't we? But what's the rules? We set the rules. We do everything I want. Why are you setting the rules? Exactly. What's the What's the My thing is, a relationship should be based on trust. You shouldn't feel like you're in a cage when you're with me. You should be able to feel like you won't be able to cheat. You wouldn't, you wouldn't cheat on me because you love me. Me, not because I say don't cheat on me. Exactly. But, but, good um, point. Good point. But uh, let's say a, a guy, uh, a, a lady comes across him and, and, you know, he's mannerly. Good afternoon. You look quite fine. Oh, you think that's, that's cheating. It's flirting. But then um, let's say uh, uh, you say now, um, good afternoon to uh, a guy. You look very well dressed. Oh, um, that, that's not good. Oh, he's, he's not, we're not flirting. I'm just complimenting him. So you guys make a, you guys throw a big no, tantrum. See, but it's not a big deal. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the point I want to move on to, and that is maturity level. Mm -hmm. um, um, should there be an equal match of maturity, or do you find that oftentimes mm -hmm. there is a part, the, the, there, there's difference in the level of maturity? Who's the more mature one? Who's the lesser uh, of the two? Okay, I yeah, I think, I think, I think, yes, I think females are more mature. 
because what you um, what what just happened just now, he uh, he pulling out, he throwing shade or whatever. That's not a sign of maturity. So oh, if he oh. wasn't on that road, why would you bring that up? So that that shows how mature really? some of you really? guys are. Yeah, but I feel okay. for both persons, you guys need to have like a similar maturity level because you don't want to treat someone like as a pet. Like that's not cool. That's that's the right. whole right. point of being in a relationship. You want to have that balance. So if you have this high maturity level and then your partner is just like a kid, you know, you're gonna have him as a pet. You're gonna control him, and that's just not right. So it has to be a, a maturity level. Can you find a maturity level, a mature guy at your age? I mean, when I say your age, I mean, can you find a mature person? who is in your age bracket I think it's really hard because most girls don't date guys in their grade because they're so immature you know but when you get an older guy even if he's only older by a year he's much more mature than the guy who's in your is age that necessarily group. true in all cases can you are you trying to tell me that no guy can be in a mature relationship with a girl in the same year no. the same class is that I'm impossible just, I'm just generalizing from what I know is happening right now nowadays yeah that's just because a lot of girls nowadays just forward. Like, okay they don't like um, the guys in that age bracket they rather the big Honda drivers and we got some Honda drivers working in them. I need all the way back here in the base okay. woman and the son of the, uh, the marijuana coming as soon as he pull in the gate. That's okay. what I like. Yeah, um, no, I, 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 I kind of I kinda understand what Devonte is saying because the, the girl feels as if, you know, if I date somebody in my class, then that ain't exciting. When I have somebody picking me up from school, like this is my boyfriend, then I become uh, I become the yeah. envy of the girls. Yeah. Yes. And so I think just how guys do the same thing. They want to have a showpiece to say, this is my girl. I think both sides have the same kind of issues. And that's why I think it goes back to the same level. We talk about maturity. Why are you in a relationship? If you're, if you're a mature person, those things, those things are superficial. Those things aren't important to you. And I think that's why we always try to discourage young people in, as teenagers to stay away from relationships. Because at that time, you're so, you're so developing, you don't have time to focus on the real issues of what should be in a relationship. You're just caught up in the superficial thing of it, or oh, companionship, and who's gonna do this? Who's gonna, you know, if I'm in a relationship with you, I expect you to buy my lunch. I expect you to pay for me when we go to the movies. I don't expect to bring my money and you bring your money. I expect you to take care of me because I'm your girl. Um, I think that's the mentality we see because we see it on Hollywood. And Hollywood mm -hmm. paints that picture and we think that's real life. Yeah. And the re reality is it ain't real life. Because the average guy, if he gets a relationship with a girl, he can't find you on him. He broke. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no Especially job. He ain't got no job. But it doesn't mean he's not a good relationship material. He may not have the physical cash, but he may be a great companion. And I think um, what we're trying to get at is at the end of the day, there's so many issues surrounding youth and relationships. But this is why we try to steer young people away from relationships at that age because it comes with so much emotional responsibility that you find that to get involved in it, what it requires you to do, you ain't willing to make that kind of sacrifice mentally just to prepare yourself for a relationship. That's why we say just have fun and have friends so that you don't have to take on that extra burden and stress along with schoolwork. Just be you and do you. And when you get to that level in your life where you are mature, then you can go into the relationship naturally and you're prepared. But take the load off and take the burden off and just have fun. Yeah. Can we agree to just have fun? Yeah. Can we agree to I agree, Mr. Watson. Yeah, she's like, we can have the fun. We know the fun is, well, we, you know, we can't, the fun is fun that you can do it in front of mommy and daddy. The godly fun. If you can't, if you can't do it in front of mommy and daddy, don't, 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 don't bother the godly fun. Yes. I like, hey. Well, we're not out of talk, we're out of time. So let's continue the discussion on social media at our Facebook page, The Youth Stone, and Twitter page, we're at The Youth Stone 242. Or meet us on our interactive chat live at zenithbahamas.com. Don't go anywhere, I'll tell you why he knows his next after the break. Stay tuned. At the Youth Zone, we may be young, but we're the next generation, and we're here to save our nation. Oh, oh. At the Youth Zone. You are now in the youth zone. Hey everybody, I'm Jose Etienne. And I'm Alexia Johnson, and we're back. Bahamian artist Tessa Whitehead representing Pop Pop Studios International Center for the Visual Arts. For more on this, here's TYZ reporter Emil Moss. This year, Bahamian artist Tessa Whitehead 
will be representing Pop Pop Studios International Center for the Visual Arts at the annual Art Fair Voltani. Tessa is known for her conceptual works that incorporate themes of balance with everyday shapes from the landscape, and will be one of the 100 exhibitors from 43 countries at the fair. Tessa's work will be on display from March 2nd to March 6th at Pierre 90 in Hell's Kitchen, New York, which is where this year's festival will be held. Miss Whitehead remarks that she loves Pop Pop Studios and thinks that it is an important and special space. She says that she respects the practices of the people who went before her, and it's incredibly important to her that she does a good job for Pop Pop Studios. Reporting for TYZ News, I'm Emil Moss. Although SAC students said that QC's BAISS win last year was by chance, the Queen's College Comets came back this year with intentions to prove them otherwise. The Comets beat the Big Red Machine by 112 points. Here is some footage of the Comets celebrating during their victory lap. to hear from you if you have news regarding our phenomenal youth. Well that my friends is the news for this week. I'm Jose Etienne and I'm Alexia Johnson. Don't touch that remote. Stay tuned for more Youth Zone after the break. We're back with another exciting season of learning to speak Mandarin. Our language coach, Tanya McFall, has some new innovative lessons. Tanya. Thank you. So hello, everyone. Let's begin. So today we had a very provocative topic, <laughs> talking about relationships, OK? Let's see who remembers how we say girlfriend in Chinese. Weibo. No. Females, do you remember how we said boyfriend? How we say boyfriend? Tai Tai is white. That's okay. We're here to help. <laughs> so, <laughs> remember, girlfriend was new pong yo. And boyfriend was. No, good try. Nan pong yo. Nan pong yo. Nan. All right. So, for further, gentlemen, if you see a girl for the first time, a beautiful girl, a beautiful girl is May New. May new. Uh -huh. And females, when we see a handsome guy, shuai ge. Like tiger. Right. Yeah. Tiger, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> All right. And so, so you may want to know, well, since we, we've learned that either the female or the male can approach, it's fine, it's the 21st century. Your question may be for females, shin zai yo. Sorry, I'm mixing up my own self. Shin zai yo, new pong yo ma. Do you have a girlfriend? All right. That's so cool. <laughs> it's the 21st century. It's okay. Don't start this off. All right. And so remember, all we doing, we just switch the words. So for the fem for the males, you may want to ask a female. Shin zaiyo nan pong yo ma. Shin zaiyo nan pong yo ma. Right. So do you have a boyfriend? All right. And in China. When we look at and when we celebrate the Western Valentines in China, it's quite similar to what we do here in the well in the Western world. So we do the chocolates. You have the ne well, guys get necklaces or combs or whatever it is that females feel us females like, whatever we want, right? And the males get the same thing. You can get ties or wallets, whatever you want. But there are some things that you don't do. Okay. Males, you do not buy females yellow flowers. Okay? Oh, so it's right. It's, a, it's like an omen. All right? It's more like an insult to her. Okay? So it's not like how we would accept yellow in our culture. Yellow is something bad. Okay? Almost like you want to break up with her. So don't do that. All right? <laughs> Very right. And the same thing. That's me. No buying sunflowers. <laughs> all right? And also, you don't buy things like an umbrella. 
Okay. Umbrella is san in Chinese. And san sounds like the word means to break up. Oh. Shoes is another thing that you don't get the female. Because it's like you're packing up, you're going to walk out her life. Oh. <laughs> really? You can buy anything else. You can buy bags, all the regular stuff. You can buy the regular stuff. All you can buy is bags and, you know, jewelry, all the good stuff. And then you can... No, it'll be fine. <laughs> but the thing about it is, and then even when you went, when you want to go to dinner and you make reservations for dinner, you do that in advance because you don't want to get caught up in all the chaos for last minute preparations, just like we do here. All right. So we said that a beautiful girl was what May knew, and a handsome guy was what. Good, Schweiger. Good. Remember, like how Mr. Watson said, almost like a tiger. It's a good way to remember that, right? Oh, so I got. All right. <laughs> All right. And so let's talk about some other things that we do. So we just talked about gifts. Gifts are li wu, li wu. Okay. Li wu. All right. And some of us like to go out. So some of us like to go dancing. Tiao wu. Let me hear you. Tiao wu. All right. So go and dance and have a good time. And then some of us like to sleep. Shui chao. Shui chao. All right. So let's talk. Let's go through gifts again. Li Wu. Uh huh. And first, who like to go dancing? Tiao Wu. Tiao Wu. Tiao Wu. Good. And for some of us who want to stay home and sleep, Shui Jiao. Shui Jiao. All right. And that's our lesson for today. Thanks a lot. Well, it's about that time for our focus on encouraging entrepreneurship. We call it Stripes of My Own Business. And this season, we focus on Bahamas striping. Take a look. One of the first tips I would, I would give them is, is to definitely uh, don't, don't, don't procrastinate. Uh, most, most people have ideas of, of starting a business, but they, they say, well, oh, it's in the right time, and it, 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 it's too late, I need more money, I need this, I need that. Uh, what I would say with them, if, if, if you need $5,000 to start a business, start off with $500, start off smaller, and then grow to that, and then grow to that five five hundred that five thousand dollars uh, the main, one of the other reason, one of the other thing I would tell them is, is definitely uh, starting a business from from as a young as a young person. It, it, it requires a change of mindset in, in, in today's uh, business atmosphere, and I I think that that uh, the young generation when in this technical age has has a, I would say a better chance of surviving. It's just that they need to to, to hone in on on their talents. And use their talents to advance their business. Uh, and the, the, I don't think I think no matter what the business is, uh, the technical age is advancing. The, the all business have to be a bit more technically inclined. And as as young people, they definitely have the advantage there. Uh, another advice I would give is to uh, don't look to to I would say be a success overnight. Uh, most people have this idea of if I start my business, I'm the boss. I I I, I have arrived. Uh, but they don't know that it's, it's a process you have to go through in order to, to actually call your business a success. And, 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 and that's why they get discouraged so easily because if they been in business for, let's just say, six months now and things is looking bad, uh, they, they tend to say, oh, they ain't gonna work but because they don't understand the process. But if they have the, the, the mindset that I'm going to go through at least three to four years of, of heartache, you understand, then they will, they will, be, able, they will be better to prepare themselves and, 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 and make it through those challenging times. It's 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 key uh, because if you if you don't if you don't plan for the pitfalls uh, when you get into them, this it's going to be overwhelmed and, and and it's just going to be I would say. Uh, uh, open well with the, with the burden of, of, of trying to get out. But if you plan, you could, you could be able to uh, a better maneuver around it. And, 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 and I would say outlast the challenge, because there, there, there's always going to be challenges. It all depends on, on how you prepare for it and uh, what you prepare for. I know for me, uh, we, we plan our business, I would say, two, two three years ahead. 
and so when we when we get into a, to, to a bit of a challenge it, it like it thumb might come out the shop but 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 we I would say we navigate a bit a bit because of the the, the, the plan of status in our business. Finally on our show, our Artist of the Week is fashioned after Bahamian cultural legends, Maureen Devalue and Eloise Lewis. She seamlessly transitions through reggae, soca, and R&B music. Today she pays homage to our rake and scrape legend, and of course she'll be singing her original song, Juicy Fruit. But of course, we've got to talk with her a bit. Please welcome to the youth zone, Bodine. Listen. <laughs> I had to bring you into the conversation because you're, you, while you're an artist, you're also by day uh, a teacher uh, at, at L.W. Young Junior High School. Yes. And so and I wanted to engage you in this conversation talking about relationships. And, and, and I always wanted to know, at seven through nine year old, I mean, seventh and ninth graders, mm -hmm. are they involved in relationships at that age? Yes, relationships are, have started with children from at primary school. Wow. And I can say that it's because I think that they are more exposed to music, they're more exposed to the television and internet, and then they see more going on in their communities. And, you know, love is a fundamental need for kids and a fundamental need for persons just in general. And so everybody's trying to find it. But cultural norms are different, and then you have the um, influence of international television that also plays a role in changing the way that they see themselves and they see relationships in general and then we have a whole lot going on with women's rights movements and things like that so there's a lot for them to figure out. I know we didn't get into it today, um, but it, we're hearing a lot now in the schools that, 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 that the kids in same-sex relationships is really becoming more and more popular. Is that true? Yes, I would find that it is true, and I don't think that this is something that um, has been hidden for a while. I think that, again, with the exposure to more information, the children are experimenting. And um, while I don't understand why at this point they are experimenting, um, you know, I would hope that they would have the right type of guidance so that they would make the most responsible decisions at this very pivotal age that they're at. How important is it as a teacher in the classroom while you're teaching the lesson to still address issues like relationships and social ills? How important is that? Is that something you can ignore? No, it's not something that you can ignore because believe it or not, sometimes you're teaching a lesson and then somebody has an issue mm -hmm. with another person in another class or somebody has somebody's bag and they want to come into your room so that they can get their bag and you know that's not that boy's bag. Uh. It's hot pink and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's important to address it because, believe it or not, um, young people, they are facing a whole lot of abuse. And that's abuse on the male to female as well as female to male, which is very prevalent. And so it's important for us to guide them and mentor them in what um, true love is and the way that it is exhibited why you should love yourself, why it's important to have high self-esteem, um, seeing value within yourself as an individual and a human being, and then being able to appropriately exhibit that love and that caring to somebody else. Can we still tell young people, stay out of relationships? Did you stay out of a relationship? Nope. Okay, so I guess the answer to that is no. And then we have to remember, traditionally, relationships started between children as early as, let's say, 9 to 10, because a lot of children were married um, in our parents' days when they were like 15 and 16, believe it or not. And so we, we have to understand that that is something that is culturally um, ingrained in us. But at the same time, because educationally and um, in terms of our international policies, we have the responsibility to ensure that our girls are educated just as well as our boys are educated. We understand that you can't say don't be in a relationship, but you have to present what the most important factors are right now. Awesome. I think we got to give a hand for that. Some good wisdom. Some good, some good wisdom. Thank you so much for voting. Right after the break, you're going to hear Bodine perform. She's an outstanding behavior performer, and we're looking forward to having her in the youth zone right after the break.
nation And we're here to save our nation oh, oh. At the Youth Zone You are now Well, it's been so great hanging with you. Hit us up on Twitter at YouthZone242 or Facebook at the YouthZone. Or email us at the YouthZone242 at ZenitusBahamas.com because we want to hear from you. So nice having you join us on the show today. We leave you now with the sound of the lady herself, Bodine. See you next week, everybody. You Stop wasting time and choose your fruit and your thing and get off the line.